Well, this is our uh, project, The Voice Keeper. It is a 3D first person game uh, that is circled around the, uh, the idea of cleaning up the forest and uh, yeah. Um, I'm uh, Thomas and I did uh, most of the coding in the game and some 3D models. I'm Jan and I did the 3D modeling, some of it, and I gave suggestions to Thomas. Uh, I'm Truda and I did almost all uh, uh, concept, I mean, all concept designs and uh, 2D arts and uh, uh, textures. Yep. It's me. Ah, so the aim of the project was uh, to make people aware of the pollution and the connection between actions and ecosystem, and well, have fun. <laughs> what next one? Uh, just me. Our goals were to create a forest and a first-person controller with hands, so we could collect stuff using the collection system. And we implemented a no jumping over the edge rule where the player can get out of the bounds. We were planning to add game overs, like if the forest burns down or it gets sick and the trees can't be healed, they have to chop be chopped down. And there's trash around and if there's no trees, you die. <laughs> if we have enough time, the we would code that the trash can go can grow and accumulate and the disease start start to spread around to nearby trees and most important multiplayer with friends um the tools we used are the the game engine godot um an open source game engine that a lot of um game developers use uh krita uh for all the art, the textures, um, just it's just a 2D pa uh, painting app. And then we used Blender for all the 3D models. Yeah. Uh, so the challenge faced, uh, faced were uh, very difficult. Uh, exactly procrastination, uh, time <laughs> crunch, <laughs> and lack of skills. Uh, but uh, we managed to do something, no matter what. Uh, what's next? Oh, photos. These are these are some of my 3D models, like a can or a trash bag. I know that they don't really look that good, but <laughs> 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 have you ever have you ever modeled a, a trash bag? <laughs> Uh, this is our mascot. Unfortunately, it is not in the game directly, uh, but uh, that's Le Fuchs. <laughs> uh, it, is, uh, yeah, it is in the forest, and by idea it should have explained the controls and all this stuff, but now we just... Uh, you can get a sticker. <laughs> Come to me. Come to me after, presenta after presentation for some stickers. <laughs> Yeah, this is was the section of all the concept art. So, this was the how Jan explained the ending with the healthy forest if you keep it well alive. Yeah. Uh, this <laughs> uh, when uh, you don't care about the forest and there is too much trash, it gets sick uh, and dies. <laughs> uh, this is fire. Uh, you can burn down the forest if you want to, but I, I would not recommend. And uh, if you're a monster, then uh, you can chop uh, the trees down, but, uh, well, it will die. And uh, that's how it dies. <laughs> it's dead. That's all I will say. I, yeah. <laughs> oh. um, well, this is the terrain of the map, uh, of the game, the, the whole map. Um, I wanted to make a valley with, like, a little hill and a, a little pond. Uh, this is before I textured the whole thing. Um, 
more at the beginning when I made the map. And this is um, afterwards in the game engine where it uh, had the old texture. Now we have new textures, but um, didn't make uh, pictures of th that. And uh, yeah, um, we also uh, I also started implementing a uh, rigid body detection. I mean, you can't really see it here, but um, there's like a, a can and a huge bottle. But yeah, and uh, this is the, uh, the the console of the game engine. And well, when you click the button E on, um, in front of an object, uh, it recognizes that and just writes it in the terminal. Yeah, thank you for listening.